Peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. Today's message is a very important message that the Lord has given me. It's a message that if you do not have truth in this, in the understanding of this message, you will not enter into the kingdom of God. You, you will remain in your sin. You will be lost. What I want to talk to you about is uh, the pursuits of your heart. Jesus said that if you save your life, you will lose it. But if you lose your life for his sake and for the gospel, you will save your life until eternal life. So, you know, I want to talk about that. The pursuits of the heart. Today, in, in this world that we live in, there are so many things that men pursue. You know, uh, men pursue careers, you know, finances, you know, uh, they pursue the, the lust of the eye. You know, they want the finest clothes. They want a bigger house, you know, the, the nice kitchen with the, with the island in the center. You know, they want <clears throat> so many things. You know, one of the uh, biggest things in the area that I'm from is sports that men pursue. You know, they put so much time and effort into, you know, honing their skill so that they could be recognized and maybe get a scholarship. And go on to be a, 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 a pro. And you know fulfill their dreams. Pursuits of the heart. So. What the Lord has put on my heart today. Is to tell you the truth that. If you have any other pursuit of the heart. Other than the kingdom of God, you will never find Jesus Christ. You will never be saved. And, you know, this is according to the scripture. And I'm going to take you through the scripture to show you this, that Jesus Christ requires all of you, everything that you have, all of your mind, all of your heart, all of your strength must be given over to God. In order for you to walk with him and to find him. Let's look at the scripture here. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 29. Starting at verse 12. It says, Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me. When ye shall search for me with all of your heart. So you will find God when you search for him with all of your heart. That means none of your heart can be left over to anything of this world. Just like Jesus Christ said that if you save your life, you'll lose it. He said that you must forsake all that you have. And, you know, or you cannot be his disciple. And this is the example that was left to us through the scriptures. When Jesus went to his disciples, the apostles, he told them, come, follow me. They dropped everything that they were doing and they followed Jesus Christ. And I tell you, we are required to do the same thing today is no different there's no uh just believe it's not the truth it's not just uh you know you give the lord what you want to give him he requires all of you the, the word says that your eye that the light of the uh body is the eye and that your eye must be single. What does that mean? That means that your eye must be single on the kingdom of God. Everything that you do, 
and that you think and, and, and that you are is about the kingdom of God. So, you know, when I when I speak this way, a lot of times people get offended and they say, well, what are you saying? We can't go to school or, you know, we can't have a job. You know, we can't uh, love our families. No, it, it may come to a point where you do have to drop out of school or you do have to uh, let go of certain jobs. But what I'm saying is that everything that you do has to be in Christ, where it's no longer you who live, but Christ that lives in you and through you. So that means you acknowledge God in all of your ways. That's the key is that everything, you know, my uh, I got a, a brother in Christ who just did a video on uh, what does God say? That's the key. What does God say? That should be what governs everything that you do. What does God say about exercise? He says that exercise profiteth little. So you govern yourself to what God says about exercise. That means that you are not working out six and seven days a week. You are not spending two hours at the gym every day trying to make your body look a certain way, trying to make sure that your body is pleasing to man. What does God say about uh, health and raising your children and, you know, uh, how much you sleep, how much you eat? Everything, it should be in Christ. And that's what the Lord requires from us all of us to love his word and to follow him so that means your conscience must be clear that as far as you know and as far as the lord has taught you meaning that you have sought after him diligently seeking to know what pleases him and as far as what he has taught you you are walking in his way, loving his way, giving yourself over to everything that he says to do. And that is the key to being a child of God. He said, you are my friend. If you do whatsoever, I command you that you, you know, you build your house on the rock. All of these things that the Lord has taught us is leading us to this same understanding. Let's look at um, this is Psalms chapter 10, starting at verse three. It says, for the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and blesseth the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth which means he hates them. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. So, you know, when someone reads something like this and they say, uh, God is not in all his thoughts. Well, are you saying that, you know, every thought has to be about God and see, this is why you have to cry out to God for understanding. Uh, you know, Every thought, you know, you, in Christ, you think about your children and, you know, what you're going to eat today or, you know, and, you know, whatever the case may be. But everything is governed according to his word and according to his way, according to your love for him. That's having God in all of your thoughts. All of your actions are governed by the word, by Jesus Christ. By what he said, what he came and taught us. And it says the wicked boasts of his heart's desire. So anytime that you are boasting of what it is that you want to do, what you want to accomplish, you know, your career, your uh, exercise regimen and all of these things, anything that is outside of what did God say? That is your heart 
pursuing something else. And the Lord made this clear that you cannot serve two masters, that you will either, you know, you will love the one and hate the other. So anytime that you are thinking about something outside of God, you are serving another master. There, you can only your eye, like Jesus Christ said, and this is very pivotal. Your eye must be single, single on the kingdom of God, sing, uh, single on, you know, righteousness and holiness and what pleases him. Let, like the word says, let your affection be on the things above and not on the things of this earth. Uh, let's look at Matthew chapter 6, uh, verse 25. It says, uh, I'm going to start at verse uh, 24. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one, and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment? So the Lord is teaching here that we are not to take thought for our life. You know, uh, what, what, what career, you know, all of these focuses and, and pursuits of the heart that men chase after. All of these things are vain and, and they're going to pass away. Let everything that you do, that means your career, how you dress, you know, what, what the meditation of your mind is, let it all be in Christ. And this is why the road is very narrow and few there be that find it. Few are able to receive this truth because they love their lives. They love what the world has to offer and they want to go and get it. They want to go and get the things of this world because they don't but truly believe that there is the crown of eternal life waiting for them as they run this race. And like the word tells us, the one who runs the race, you know, is diligent to prepare himself just like athletes do. You know, they're diligent to, you know, prepare for the uh, events and things that they're going to. And we must do the same, knowing that our crown is an incorruptible crown. So I wanted to give this message, this, this soul saving message, if you are able to receive it. Because I see so many people, you know, deceived, serving two masters, believing that they are walking with God, yet loving the world, loving uh, the pursuits of their heart that is not in Christ. You know, careers, it, I, and I tell you the truth, if you have not yet truly known Jesus Christ, if you have to drop out of school, if you have to lay down whatever it may be, you know, so many pursuits of the heart, you know, your children, or your husband. You have to get these things out of your heart. And this is why so many people only find God when they are at their lowest. When life has beat them into the dust. Then they look up to God in their heart. And their eye is single. Lord, help me. And I, I know that many brothers and sisters can testify to this that... You didn't find God until you were broken, broken hearted and low. And nothing else mattered. You, you, you were hurting and all you saw was the father. All you wanted was him. 
Nothing else in your life at that time mattered to you. And that's why. That's why, you know, the Lord is merciful that he sends afflictions that we might cry out to him from a true heart with a, a single eye. But that's the only way to find him. And you must come to that place where you will seek him with all of your heart. Leaving no room for no, anything else. Take time out to cry out to God, to seek him as for hidden treasure. As for hidden treasure, knowing that there is nothing else that matters, but knowing him, figuring out what it is that he wants from you, what pleases him, knowing him, knowing his way. And if you will do that, you will find eternal life. Be blessed.